Alright, so our question asks us light travels at the speed of about 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. How many miles does a pulse of light travel in a time interval of 0.1 seconds, which is about the blink of an eye? So what we have here is two problems. We have, um, we're trying to find distance from velocity, and then we have to convert the distance from meters into miles. So we have to use dimensional analysis after we figure out our answer. Now, the, the way you figure out, this is speed, or we, we can say velocity. I'm going to use the words speed and distance instead of the t normal physics terminology of velocity and displacement. And I know that, yes, there is a difference, but for the purpose of, of this problem and making it uh, easy for everyone to understand, even people who might not be taking a physics class, um, I'm going to use speed and distance. So, um, the way you figure out uh, the distance, so speed, uh, the way you, you write speed is you take the distance and you divide it by the time. So, up here we have actually um, the distance reported in meters and the time reported in one second. So, if we wanted to use algebra to um, solve for distance, we could actually times this by t which would be the same thing as times in the speed by t. Uh, and we would get the, the times would cancel out, and our answers would be reported in distance. So if we multiply speed times distance, uh, I'm sorry, if we multiply speed times the time, we get the distance. So uh, that's what we're going to do. 3.0 times 10 to the 8th. And we can put that over one second, 10 to the 8th meters over one second. Multiply that by the interval of 0 0.1 seconds. The seconds end up canceling out. And the answer we get is 3.0 times 10 to the 7th, which is 30 million. 30 million with two significant figures. And so we got that as meters. We've got to convert 30 million meters into miles. So here's what I do. I, I don't know how many meters are in a foot or how many um, how many uh, miles are in a kilometer or anything like that, but what I do know is how many centimeters are in an inch. I know that there are 2.54 centimeters for every one inch. So I'm going to take this from 30 million meters down to centimeters. So it's 30 million 30 million meters over 1, and I'm going to times that by um, 100 centimeters in 1 meter. Or my meters will cancel out, and my answer will be in centimeters. So I'll have uh, basically 3 billion, um, 3 billion over 1 centimeters, and I want to convert that 3 billion into inches. So I know that there are every one inch has 2.54 centimeters. So I can divide that 3 billion by 2.54 and the answer to that is 1 billion um, actually let me undo that 1 billion 181 million 2.20. Now, here's the thing. We only have two significant figures, so if you're um, doing this problem for someone who's a stickler for significant figures, your answer would be 1.19. Uh, so 1.19 times 10 to the, um, you would do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to the ninth times 10 to the ninth power. 1.19 times 10 to the ninth power. That would be uh, reporting significant figures. I'm not doing it for somebody that requires significant figures. Someone's just going to carry over the entire amount, and um, we're going to go from uh, inches up to um, up to uh, meter or up to miles. Now, if I have inches, if I have x number of inches over one, I can convert that to feet. Um, I can say that every one foot has 12 inches. Then I can convert that to miles by saying that every one mile, I want to put inches down here because inches will cancel out, every one mile has 5,280 feet. And I want to do it like that to cancel out the feet. So I will have x times 1 times 1 divided by 
12 times 5,280 um, is going to be my answer. So I take my 1.19 billion and I, I can divide it by um, the 12 times 5,280 which is uh, 63,360. So this is 63,360. I can divide my 1.19 billion by that number and the answer is 18,641 18,641.14 now we're putting that in significant figures is remember we're not going to use this number to figure out our significant figures because we had already decided that um, 1.18 wouldn't work it would have had to have been 1.19 um, and I really don't remember why at this point we had the 9 instead of the 8 maybe it would have been 1.18 but uh, we, we would use 1.19 uh, if we use 1.19 our answer would be um, well it, it would be the same either way because there's two significant figures so it would be um, 1.9 1.9 times 10 to the 1 2 3 4 because uh, that's a decimal so times 10 to the 4th um, 1.9 times 10 to the 4th or 19,000 now the second part of that question said compare this distance to the diameter of the earth and it gives us the diameter of the earth in meters so remember we came up with 30 million meters in 0 0.1 uh, seconds and it wants us to compare that to the 6.38 times 10 to the 6th, uh, the diameter of the Earth, and report that. That is roughly 4.7. And because this is both in meters, these cancel out, and our number, our ratio, is a unitless number. So you would report uh, 4.7, which is two significant figures. That's fine. And that's your answer. And actually, I, I did um, make a mistake here. I I said 4.7. Well, it says to use 6.3 for the radius, but it wants us to compare to the diameter. So we'd put 2 times this number, and the new answer for that is approximately uh, 2.35, or if you that doesn't look like much of a 5, 5, 2.35. If you're using significant figures, it would be, 2.4 so and uh, again it's unitless